have something special for you guys today. You might be wondering why it's so dark. During today's episode, I'm going to show you the places that inspired me to paint the night owl. Hello everyone, my name is Janine and you're watching Janine's Art Memoir. Right now we're in the Windy City, downtown Chicago, Illinois, and this is Millennium Park. At night, this park exemplifies a whimsical wonderland. Before I began painting the night owl, I thought about this park. Seeing the blue lights, snow resting everywhere, and uniquely shaped trees motivated me to invent a mysterious painting that illustrates a winter's night. As I walk through this park at night, I always see a vivid and stunning view of the moon. The scenery allowed me to envision the moon lurking in between the tree branches in the night owl. Now I'm going to take you to our second destination, which is the Chestnut Mountain Resort in Galena, Illinois. If you can handle the cold weather and love winter sports, this ski resort is the place to visit. This resort is a blast and very exhilarating. There is a massive amount of snow and trees here, which allowed me to conceptualize painting snow on the branches of my enchanting tree that is seen in the night owl. Right now, we're at one of the most animated restaurants here in the United States, and it is the Rainforest Cafe, located in Gurney, Illinois. Rain, this restaurant is very entertaining and an experience in itself. When you dine here, you feel like you are dining in a rainforest. Yes, Trey. Take me to there are different shades of blue fish in the aquarium here. And the various shades of blue inspire me to use similar shades in a night owl. On the ceiling, there is a simulation of a beautiful night sky. This simulation helped me paint a night sky in the background of my eerie tree. And it also encouraged me to use a darker blue in my night owl painting. We're at Murphy Hill Gallery in Chicago, Illinois. This is the place where you can see my painting the night owl. So come on, let's go inside and see. If you're interested in this painting, email your bids to Janine at Janine'sArt.com. If you haven't viewed the website yet, check it out. Until next time, be inspired.